you know, this is really one of the first opportunities we've had to get out in the district. Uh, since the flood happened, I, I came down uh, in June uh, while the flood was still happening, while the water was rising. I rode around with the, the county judge and looked at some of the damage, got to visit with some of the farmers here. Uh, but it's really like a, a 12 county region that was affected by the floods in June. And, uh, you know, preliminary estimates are showing, you know, 200, maybe it's going to be up to $250 million of farm losses. Uh, so there are a lot of people who've been affected by this, and we just want to. You know, hear their stories and tell them what's happening on the federal government side of things, how we're trying to move through the process to get the disaster relief uh, down here and, and to these farmers whose whole livelihood have been interrupted by the floods this year. So I know one of the farmers I talked to while the flood was happening was telling me that you know, some of his crops are covered by flood insurance, some aren't covered by uh, flood insurance. Uh, there was the question at the time, you know, how long is the water going to stay on the crop? If it goes down in a few days, then maybe the crop can survive. If it doesn't, it's going to, to kill it. So, you know, to kind of get an assessment of where we are. The opportunity for some help for some guys that lost everything is there. It sounds like it's going to be slow just because of how government is going to have to appropriate everything. So the fact that it's not gone because that's how it looked was for some people earlier on that there wasn't going to be any type of assistance in any way. So the assistance there, even though it's going to be slow, is not out of the picture. Is helpful to, to be able to go back and tell my county that this is, you have a chance. And so where we are now is uh, the governor declared a, a disaster. I believe like June 10th or June 12th, early on, the governor declared a disaster. Um, but in order to get relief for the farmers, we've got to get money appropriated in Congress. Typically that works through a grant program, so we'll have to have an appropriations bill. And I know, you know they've experienced the loss already or they're experiencing it, and they would like to have the, the money sooner, but the federal government just doesn't uh, often operate that quickly. With, he talked about the September 30th being the end of the, of the uh, fiscal year for the government. We need to know something by then. A lot of folks in our area would either be done harvesting or finish up harvesting if they had a crop. Uh, they'd be really close to being done. If they're going into October, they won't like very much. Maybe a little bit of late planted soil weeds, late planted cotton, a lot of late planted soil weeds in this particular instance. But they need to know something. And that's a good time to know, okay, this is what I had left. I'm going to the bank now to, to finish up the end of the year stuff. and. I know that this is coming to kind of help fill that gap in that, that I've lost and I cannot get back because there's nothing there to salvage. There's guys that lost every acre they had.